everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. My first solo trip experience was actually just last year around this time. I went to Los Angeles for four weeks. Make sure you just have your plane ticket, um, secure a place to stay, have money for transportation. If you have to get a bus card or catch Ubers or you're going to rent a car or do whatever you need to do, um, secure transportation. I would recommend staying somewhere that has a, like a kitchen area. So you can save money on food that way. You can find out um, maybe like one or two events that are going to be there. That's also another really amazing reason, really amazing reason to travel. And it sounds really easy to a lot of you, but you'd be surprised how difficult it is for some people who are so grounded in being home, home, home all the time to even think about traveling somewhere for a concert or just traveling or just doing anything like that overall i think um solo traveling experiences is a must especially for when women of this new generation and especially for black women because you know you'd be surprised when you go to other places how well it's, and i'm talking countries how well received you are girl no more bottom of the totem pole for you and I think solo traveling experiences also help you think, they help you relax. Um, when I was there, I did do a lot of writing and I did um, like think about um, how I wanted my year to be. And to be completely honest, I mostly got everything I wanted except for one thing. <laughs> so I probably didn't even want to go back. But I mostly got everything I wanted. Um, I didn't get it how I thought that I would get it, but I got it. All right. But when I speak, when um, when you're planning a solo trip, don't tell anybody because you will get lots of doubters. You will get lots of like naysayers. You will get lots of like people who really just want to pick your plan apart. Whether your plan is just to go on vacation and chill, or whether your plan is to go out to California and look for work whether your plan is to meet somebody in california you want to go to california and just find love something like that because people do travel for love um to find it and um yeah just i would advise just not saying anything especially to your family and your friends and anybody who you think would be like um uh girl i don't think i don't what are you gonna do out there do you know the co how much the cost of living is girl the cost of living out there is just by far if you know people who are gonna say stuff like that then don't tell them if my last lesson about solo traveling is just be open to the culture and open to the experience and embrace everything with an open positive mind no matter where you are um, because people come to America all the time and they embrace our crazy culture and how dare we go you know over to their country and be like uh, uh, too good, too good, like, for you. So, yeah, embrace the culture, learn something, benefit from it, be inspired. So this is the end of Vlogmas number four, Yay! and this was a fun one. I actually had three topics um, picked out for this Vlogmas, but I actually enjoyed this topic so much that I don't have time to talk about those other topics. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching and if you like this video consider subscribing but one thing i always did when i was there when i first got there was i got up early in the morning and make sure that i remember what my mama told me talk like i got some sense in these streets so oh, i'm in a hurry i don't have time for whatever is going on you need to hurry up i'm in a hurry